Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is a look at the new Documents tab in HTC Sense. This comes from a Leo test ROM uh, that we think will be on a T-Mobile HD2. This is running Manila 2.5, build 1922. It's, it's the first time in a long time that we've seen a new Sense tab or a new tab in TouchFlow 3D. So we're excited to look at it, and it's quite robust. HTC did a really good job at this new Documents tab. So I'm going to land over here, and I put three different kinds of documents onto a storage card and loaded it on the device. So we have an Excel spreadsheet, and you get cool little previews here, which is great. I have a PDF, and then I also have a standard Word document. Now, it doesn't stop there. Obviously, if you, if you tap on one of these, it will open it up in uh, the respective program, and there it comes. And I'm going to exit out of that. But there's a lot more you can do with it. So if we go down to all documents, we get this sort of sub interface, this sub HTC Sense interface with buttons along the bottom, various things we can do. So right now, this is a listing of all the documents on the device. I can switch this to a thumbnail view so you can really see what you're working with. This is really fantastic. I'd say that these thumbnails are a little bit too small to be actually useful, but in some cases, you can kind of get a feel for what they are. I'm going to go back to the list view to clean things up. We can tap up here to search through documents if you have a lot of them on your device. Going over to the next tab, we have recent, so we can see the recently opened documents. And obviously, I opened this one at the top first, so it is in the correct order. Um, to the right of that, we can go to type, and what this will allow you to do is sort of filter by PDF or Excel spreadsheet or Word document. If we tap on these little arrows here, we're taken to some details about the particular document, when it was last accessed, when it was modified, the file size, very useful things. And then there's some really cool email integration. So if we go to the right, we get to see um, any documents that were received and any documents that were sent. So you have one place to come for all of your documents, and you can do some other stuff with it too. Um, you can sync email, so say it's been a week. I think you actually have to manually sync this uh, to get the documents to refresh in the sub interface. You can also change the document source. You can have it stored only only pull the documents from mail, uh, take the documents from local documents, or from your entire uh, device. And there are some other things here too. If we go into settings, just a few different things. We can disable download notification, dis disable no uh, roaming notification, and you can also again change where the document source is, kind of redundant from the previous screen. But a really cool way to put documents all under one place. I think this is going to be a great feature for the mobile professional or anyone that has a lot of documents on their computer and they want to carry them around on their mobile device. So we're really looking forward to dissecting this ROM even further and coming up with more changes that we're going to see in presumably the T-Mobile HD2. That's it for now.